Hello, everybody. We are back here on Call of the Wild, the Angler. Let's uh, jump back into it and let's see what we can end up finding today. Hey, everybody. Hey, Deer Killer. Hey, Brady. Uh, Shadow Wolf. Mr. Wild. Hunting Life. Landon. Uh, MTS Lures. Jaren. Jackson. Uh, Deedlefish. Ryan. Toxic. Brady. Crazy. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, you're all doing pretty good today. This location that we're at right now, I found last night. Literally, the first fish I pulled out of it was a diamond. This area is just so amazing looking. Really reminds me of like some of the uh, Eastern Oregon rivers. Hey, Luca, how's it going? Hey, Smash. Hey, Kyle. Hopefully everybody's doing good today. Uh, yes, Hunting Life I have. It's been quite a while, though. Hey, Tien. Hey, Scopes. Hey, uh, Myro. I'm uh, not sure, Noah. They have not announced what platforms yet. As of now, they have not really talked about it too much. Thanks, bro, bro. <laughs> How you doing? Hopefully you've been doing good. Hey, Galaxy. Hey, Girk. Hopefully you all are doing great. You know, now that I think of it, the spot I caught the fish was lower. I had moved up here to see if there was anything up in this area. It's kind of like right through here. But I think most of them are below the falls. Let's see if we can just flip one out here and get something to bite it. So far, I've only caught rainbow trout here, uh, Smash. So far, it's only been rainbows. But I've only fished here a little bit, so it's hard to say. Uh, yes, Hunting for Life, it does. All clothing items and uh, boats and um, vehicles, they all cost money for the different uh, skins. All of them cost uh, coins. Ooh, just saw fish jump. Maybe go to a slightly lighter setup. Uh, no, Carson. Just for PC. PC is the 31st uh, console. There is no release yet. I can't really give the game a rating yet, uh, Scopes. What types of fish are here? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of all of them. Well, that guy's jumping still. Let's let's move up. That little dude does not want to bite. Nice duck. Well, I think a lot of that, uh, scopes is just the fact that most fish will bite on the heavy tackle. I think that's more of the issue. 
And I've already told them that. I think just making it so smaller fish won't bite on the setups with heavy line would fix a lot of the problems with fish fights being too easy. Uh, nobody knows yet, Carson. They have not announced the platforms. Yeah, exactly, Cannibal. Like, all those things. Oh, there we go. Well, whatever was here did not want a spinner, but bit a spinner bait. Oh, it's a rainbow. Maybe my spinner was just too big? I don't even know. But it bit that. Yeah, and honestly, I'd play Russian Fishing 4 more if it wasn't so, like, a pay to progress. That game always felt like it was just pushing you to buy coins no matter what you did. I don't know if they've changed it, but from the reviews I've read, it doesn't seem like they have. That was always my big problem with Russian Fishing 4, is they always just pushed you to buy coins to get better tackle. Or put a super lengthy grind in front of you if you didn't. Let's see, can we go down a bit? Yeah, it does, uh, Cannibal Barbecue, it does. They either make you so you have to spend like hundreds, even thousands of hours just to progress, or uh, to where you have to pay in order to get some of the, the higher end stuff. Which is unfortunate, because both of those games I think would be good if they had a few things changed. Yeah, I used to play Russian Fishing 4 a lot, and back when I played, you almost had to purchase coins or else it took uh, literally hundreds of hours to progress. Oh yeah, pretty much, Smash. Pretty much. No, Duck, I'm never gonna play Fishing Planet again. I just can't enjoy it because of the amount of the amount of like different things you have to purchase in the game just to fish at a different location for me the turnoff for fishing planet is that if I want to change locations I got to spend the travel the travel costs I also have to buy the license for the area and then if I only play for like two hours and then want to change locations I've basically lost like most of that money That was the, the big issue for me with Fishing Planet, because since I since I primarily make content on hunting games, I can't play fishing games for a long for a long time normally. And like for Fishing Planet, it almost you almost have to play quite a while at one location to make your money back. And you gotta go for the fish that'll give you the most money while you're there. And to me that's just not fun. I enjoy being able to fish for whatever I'm feeling like fishing for at uh, that particular moment and not have to worry about the uh, making all of the money back that I spent traveling. That's always been my biggest issue. I'm doing good Owen, doing pretty good. Yeah definitely Osgard, it's unfortunate. And you know, honestly, I think that might be one of the things that makes me enjoy the angler more than what I've seen a lot of people say. A lot of people, for the most part, think the angler couldn't possibly be fun because it's not uh, the best in any of the categories when it comes to like animations, um, ease of catching fish, uh, the look of the tackle and stuff. Like, a lot of people don't like the way things look in this game. 
But I think one of the big things for me, besides the massive open world, which that's my main draw point, that's the main thing I enjoy about it that makes me be able to overlook some of the issues. But I think the big thing for me is being able to fish anywhere that I want and not having to uh, pay to go to another location. That way, if I'm feeling like uh, fishing for lake trout one day, I can go do it without having to pay to go there. Same thing with like, if I wanna go fish for some bluegill or some sauger, I don't have to pay to go do it. Well, if you're only 200 kills in, Jake, you probably haven't even got to a stage where you're going to get a lot of nines. You got to continue grinding. Um, if you're using herd management, you can't expect it to produce early. It took hundreds and hundreds of kills for it to produce for me. I guess the rainbows just aren't wanting the spinners today. You know, it's really strange, and I hadn't noticed this until now. It does seem like the fish kind of change what they're interested in. I've been catching trout off of these regular spinners a ton and then just out of nowhere like right now they don't want the spinner anymore they want the spinner bait so maybe they do actually change what they're interested in it's starting to look like it now how much is the game on steam it's gonna be $29.99 there is no fly fishing on launch, but they've talked about it possibly being an addition they'll add eventually, so I could imagine that it will at some point. I can't rate the game as of now, Owen. I can't rate it. There, I have to wait till the review embargo lifts. Then I can do a rating of the game. Never heard of the Fisher Online? It's a good game. Probably my favorite uh, fishing game. Yeah, it's possible, Nick. It's pro it's possible for sure. I could see them uh, maybe. Adding something like that once they kind of polish the base game. I think a, a lot of it is just going to be polishing the base game to where it's at a good point. Wow, that is... Yeah, I didn't realize, like, how far this cat... My gosh, okay. Can we... Okay, that, that's that got to be a bug. There's no way I'm not hitting the water there. That worked. <laughs> Hey, Siv, how's it going, man? Oh, my enjoyment's very high, Rick. That that I can say. I'm, I'm very much enjoying the game, though it's got a lot of things that need worked on. Luckily, the team's already going at some of the things, so that's awesome. Oh, I think it will, Bryce. I think that's just going to take a few updates. Something to remember is that the Hunter Call of the Wild was not popular for the first year or two. First year or so, the Hunter Call of the Wild was not a popular game. And it had a lot of issues. Uh, no clue, Leonardo. They have not talked about updates much. I'm sure we'll hear about it at some point. There we go. There's a fish. Um, I don't know, QCK. I haven't been playing uh, Way of the Hunter as heavily since the Angler's been out, so I haven't been uh, getting as many five stars and stuff, but uh, today's, uh, today's video's got a couple of them, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good one, but I think I've got around 10. Pretty sure I've got around 10 five stars after playing, like... 45, maybe 50 hours.
Little dude, a bronze. <laughs> wow, just a bronze. That thing fought way harder than I expected it to. Does flowing uh, water have an effect on lures? I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I haven't paid attention to it. I would imagine there's probably some effect. Uh, yes, there is FOV slider. Yeah, true, Oscar, true. Hey, Kyla, how's it going? How have you been doing? Hopefully you've been doing good. Fifty days of Call of the Wild. My gosh, Kathy, that's a lot. That, that is definitely a lot. Come on, rainbows. There's a delicious spinner bait over here for you guys to bite. Going good. Or it's going and I'm good. Cleaning up around the house since I've been slacking. Nice, Kyla. Will it be on Xbox? We don't know yet. Yeah, um... If you haven't had the update scene, I think it should be, it should be normal. Because it was the most recent update that caused that issue. Let's just crank it in for a second. And then slow it down. You think there will ever be a great one? I don't know if they want to go that route. Hey Grizz, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. Okay, looks like we're not getting anything else there. Where else could we go to? I kind of want to go for some more uh, Sauger and stuff. Is the game worth getting? It really depends on like what type of game you're looking for. If you don't care too much about a game being perfectly realistic, then you'll probably have fun on this game. It's a little more arcadey. It's a little more fast paced, similar to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And it does have a, a decent bit of exploration with the world. So if you're into a little more of a fast paced fishing game that is uh, relatively good, but still needs some work, then I'd say go for it. I've been having fun on it, and at the end of the day, that's my number one measurement of whether or not it's a good game. As many things are personal preference, and the way I see it is if you enjoy the game, then it's a good game to you, you know? And so if you're into those types of games, then I'd say give it a try. What spinner? Okay, I'm using that there. Plop that out. What did the Sauger bite yesterday? I think they were biting the spinner bait, if I'm not mistaken. But it could have been the spinner as well, and in fact, I think they did bite the spinner too. Think we might try to cast along the bridge? I mean, bridge seems like a pretty good option. Ooh, there's one. See a Sauger right there. Yeah, I think it was the spinner bait. I caught one on a regular spinner last night too, though. But I think either will work. In fact, yeah, there we go. 
There we go. That looks like a good one, actually. I mean, I'm using pretty heavy tackles, so it's not going to fight a ton, but... Yeah, nice little gold. Not bad. Little gold uh, sauger there. Good start. What fish would I hope to see in the future? Um, I'd like to see some saltwater fish. Like some rock fish and things like that. I'd also love to see uh, some cutthroat trout eventually. Ooh, is that a big pike? It is. Come here, buddy. There we go. That's a big pike. That guy's putting up a little bit of a fight. Look at that guy go. That's a good one. What? Oh, that was a silver? Must have just been borderline gold. Not bad. Okay, but anyway. Let's uh, cast back out. Oh, gotta love it, Kyla. Gotta love it. Gotta love the imposters. You know, normally we get imposter flinters in here. Not too often we see like an imposter lady or an imposter Dee Dee. I'm uh, not sure, sister. They haven't talked about what platforms besides PC. So it's as of now unknown. Hey, Zerk, thank you so much for the super chat. Can an animal in Way of the Hunter be a four star adult? I actually don't know. I've never seen one myself. I'm sure it's a possibility though. But thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Do I fish IRL? I do, Grizz. I fish quite a bit in real life. Ooh, that, that looks like a good fish. Mainly for, um... I mainly fish for cutthroat trout in real life. Which is why I'd like to see them in the game. I've done a ton of fishing for cutthroat trout, uh, chinook salmon, uh, coho salmon... Copper rockfish, greenling, uh, rainbow trout as well, steelhead, things like that. I think that's a whitefish right there. That looks like a big whitefish. Could that maybe be a diamond whitefish? I'm gonna rip this back in and uh, chuck the spinnerbait near it. I can't tell, but I think it might be a whitefish. There we go. We're about to find out. Yeah, it's a whitefish. Definitely not as big as I thought it was, but... At least we got it. Yeah, I don't like seeing it either, Kyla. I hope they fix it soon, as it is quite a bad issue. I think that's a bass right there. There we go. Hey, Spectre, I'm doing good, dude. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Yeah, nice little largemouth. 
Oh, there is no trophy lodge, no. The game is uh, heavily focused on catch and release. And they've said it's possible that eventually we'll get a lodge, though, depending on player feedback. That's a little better of a fish, I think. Yeah, definitely a little better one. 4.64 pounds silver. I believe so, Arrow. I believe hitting an artery in Way of the Hunter will get the animal down. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it will. Good looking sauger there. That actually might be a big sauger now that I'm looking at it. Though we were uh, wrong about the last one, so maybe not. Oh yeah, I heard about that, Kyla. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Bree was watching uh, Flinter's stream and you mentioned something about it in chat. That's awesome. It's about time, right? We've all been telling you for like, what, two, three years, something? Well, not three years, but like two years? Awesome to see you're uh, starting it out. Are there any fish finders in game? Uh, not right now. I'm sure that type of stuff will most likely come later. Seems like they'll probably take the same route as uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, where they add things over time. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? The thumbnails are never gonna start out perfect unless you already... I guess there's someone who's very familiar with Photoshop. Nice little five pound bass. Hey, Darkhound, how's it going? You didn't miss too much, uh, no diamonds yet. We're just kind of sight fishing in this area, snagging as many fish as we can. Mainly seeing if we can get some big sauger. We've caught a few sauger, but nothing massive. I'm gonna try and target that fish there. I do like that you can sight fish in the game, however I do wish that maybe it was a little bit harder to get like that particular fish to bite, as it seems like it's pretty guaranteed that they'll bite if it's a lure they like. I, I can't set the hook. Where? There we go. Oh, there we go. That was weird. That was so strange, it wouldn't let me set the hook. Yeah, it worries me a little bit too, Kyla. I, I don't know, I'm assuming they just don't want to... I don't know. They I know they definitely don't want to... Like, give a release date, and then have it get pushed back, but I am curious why they're not saying what platforms it's on. Uh, anybody can join the Discord, uh, Vinok. If you're having issues, it might be the mobile device you're on, because sometimes different devices have issues with it. Discord, just in general, has some issues with certain phones and tablets. Oh, I know, see, and I really want to see spotting scopes added. Way of the Hunter definitely needs something like that. Chuck one in here, as uh, this is where we've seen quite a few bluegill. Yeah, hopefully it'll be soon though, Kyla. I mean, I couldn't see them putting it off for too much longer. I imagine we'll get some announcements shortly. I hope at least. If we don't, then that's going to be very unfortunate. Just saw a decent bass jump. We got to go try to get that guy. I mean, one thing that I say isn't going to make them do it, Scopes. They're not going to just go off of what I say. It's it's about what the community says as a whole. 
If you want, uh, if you want the developers to know, then join their Discord and give it in the feedback section, because they read through that pretty much every day. That's a decent bass over there to our right. I do like that the bass kind of hang around those weeds. There we go. Well, that's a fighter. That's a good fish. What species is it, though? If this is a bass, that's a big one. If it's a pike, then it's probably a pretty average one. Oh, it's a pike. Yep, probably just an average pike. Come on, buddy, get in here. We all need signatures for the spotting scope. <laughs> Just write it, write a petition like, "Give me the, give me the spotting scope now." I'm tired of looking at a massive, giant TV screen of seven million animals never being able to zoom in on one specific animal. I really think that is like the the one thing that we absolutely do need for long range hunting and way of the hunter is definitely a spotting scope. I mean the game is heavily based on managing your herds, taking out the bad genetics animals, determining whether or not an animal is early on in the mature stages or late in the mature stages and a spotting scope would be like such a necessity to keeping track of all that I think. I really couldn't see them not adding it soon like they gotta add it within the next couple updates. Wow, this fish is putting up a fight, man. See it over to the right a little bit. Come on, buddy. You're so close. Nice little silver pike. You see, this right here is why I think they do need to kind of balance, like, what tackle the fish will bite on. Because, like, that fight right there, that was a pretty good fight, right? Like, that one lasted a decent bit. The, the fish was pulling out line here and there. And, you know, that's how it should be for, like, an average-sized fish of its species, right? Like, it shouldn't be super easy, but it also shouldn't take, like, 20 minutes to reel it in. But, I think this is like a perfect balance right here. And so I really hope that they make it so like smaller fish won't bite on larger tackle. And by larger tackle, I primarily mean the line. I feel like line thickness should deter some of the smaller fish. And that would make it so you don't get super easy fights, you know? Let's flip this out here and see if we can get that bass to bite. It did look like a good one. Oh, they do scope. They've got all those. A pike this close. I didn't even see that guy. Much smaller pike. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the uh, black screen transition either. I do think it would be more immersive if you reached down into the water and grabbed the fish. Even if the animation wasn't like the smoothest thing in the world, just having the animation of grabbing the fish would add to like the, the realism a ton. Yeah, same here, Winter Moose. Like a lot of times when I'm fishing for cutthroat trout, I'll use like six pound line. Sometimes four pound if I'm doing a super ultralight setup. Like any time that I've used 10, 15 pound line for trout, I don't get many to bite because they just get deterred by the thickness of the line. They end up seeing the line and just not even uh, getting near the lure. 
And I do feel like that should be more of a factor here in the angler. I can't tell. Is that fish going for it? I think it is. But I really can't tell. Whatever it is, it's moving really slow. Having trouble keeping up with the lure. Come on, man. Strike with a vengeance. Now, let's just cut it off. Let's flip it out there again. Get it behind him. Should give him a better chance of being able to catch up to it. Oh, the other one's going for it. Even better. That's the, the one that was larger. There we go. A little bronze. <laughs> yeah, true, Winter Moose. And also, um, the sensitivity of the rod also affects that as well. I don't really do IRL videos uh, skiing. If I did, it would be on my second channel. Yes, Kylie. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, I, I would love it if they had like an ultra realism mode where you had to do all that. Like you actually had to tie your lures and all that too. <laughs> That'd be something else. Yeah, netting them would be good. That actually is a good alternative. You know, honestly, that's probably the easiest one to do as well because like you wouldn't need to make as many animations for like grabbing the different size of fish the netting would be cool like if it netted the fish and then cut to the trophy screen that actually would be better than the current black screen and then you're on the trophy screen yeah i could definitely see that working out That seems like a little bit of a bigger bass. Also some nice sauger in the area. Rank him in. Average size silver. Oh, that's weird, White Wolf. That doesn't sound normal. Let's see. Trying to see if there's any challenges that are in the area. Maybe. That would be kind of a cool one to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that a catfish? I think it's a catfish. I don't know if they'll bite any of the lures, though. I don't think they'll bite the lures. Maybe, though. I mean, in real life, I've seen them bite crankbaits. Maybe we could get a crank to work. We've got a jerkbait. I mean, it could be a pike as well, though. I don't know. In fact, we should probably use this rod. That for some reason I can't change the lure on. It's already a one-aught spinner. Yeah, big pike just jumped over there. Maybe it is a pike. Though that one that surfaced looked like it was a catfish. I think we've got a giant over here.
Okay, that mark is right where we need it to be. Uh, let's go back and uh, see what we got here. I think the way that they're going for uh, Winter Moose is similar to Call of the Wild. Like, you look at something like Parque Fernando and like most of the species don't belong there either. I don't think it's necessarily based off of locations in real life, if we're being honest. I think it's primarily just these are the species that are at this map and they'll be at various locations throughout the map. There's definitely different lakes and ponds that have different species, but uh, I don't think they're trying to go super true to life with that. Why make a deal with the devil when there's a hell of a deal right here? Amazing. Here. Thank you for that. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, we need to drop off a few things. We'll drop off that because I've had like no luck with these. Uh, let's go. There's one hook. See, I've caught them on the minnows before, so that might be the way to go. We could also get pike off of the minnows too. Actually, I'll use one of these. This is what I use in real life for, uh, for salmon. Maybe grab a different bait as well. Let's toss the liver in there. What piques your interest? Yes, yeah, same, Winter Moose. Like, I, I understand their, uh, like approach on this game as it's definitely not super realism focused it's a little more arcadey like i understand it but yeah it would have been nice to have a little more realism for sure but i've still had quite a bit of fun regardless it looks like you can only carry 99 of each bait at once Interesting. Oh yeah, definitely, Siv. I hope they do. I mean, that's a that's a massive, massive uh, bit of feedback from me for sure. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome, Rick. That'd be awesome. I think the only reason they don't is because that can get kind of expensive, and I think they'd rather put that money towards developing the game. I think that's one of the reasons why EW doesn't do that. True, Osgard. I feel like games need a balance in most cases. Like, I'd like to see some more realistic aspects, but yeah, at the same time, I don't want to sit there an hour and not catch anything. I think it just needs some minor tweaking to the bite rate of some of the fish. Like, I really think that there's two things that they could do that would make the game a million times better without really even having to change any of the animations or anything. If they just made it so each individual fish had slightly different once when it came to lures that they would strike and like different presentations that they would like, then that alone would make it a lot more realistic. Like, let's say this juvenile bass here is more likely to strike if I'm using, you know, a small spinner bait with the constant technique. But like maybe the five pound bass next to him is uh, more partial to a size two swim bait using the stop and go technique. Like if they had little things like that where different fish uh, preferred different things but could still bite on the others, I think that would be good. I think that would make for a little more variety. And then the other thing for me is I do think that if they just, um, ooh, that's a decent, decent bass right there. If they, um, made it so, you know, the heavier lines will not, uh, will make it so you can't really catch the smaller fish, like they'll just be scared away from it, that would also be very helpful. Those two things, I think, would make it so the game would already be ten times better. 
And I think a lot more people would get the game then. We're gonna need a pretty heavy setup here. Yeah, exactly. I think there needs to be, um... I think there needs to be a balance between realism and fun, you know? Oh, me too, Moose, man. I, I really want to get out and fish as well. Unfortunately, like, nowadays, I don't get too much time to. Curious how long it's going to take to get a bite on the float. I might need to make it a little bit deeper, even. Might also be nice if we can maybe see that catfish surface again. Let's uh, drop it down to like 1.40 meters, though. Maybe... Check it out there. Would think that the lakes that have no rivers out or in there would have... Would be much fish. If this is super realistic, could be hours of fishing and no single fish. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Like... I feel like... They've almost got a good balance. They're just uh, slightly too easy to catch as of now. I think that's partially just my graphics settings fast. I lower my settings a little bit because streaming takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of performance away. Once I get my new uh, PC, everything should be uh, able to run in max settings. If you're fishing for hours without fish, it's time to go home. <laughs> I mean, there's some days where there's literally just nothing, you know. That's just part of it. I've had many days going for salmon that they just weren't biting. Could be using the same thing, same techniques, fishing the same places that you had previously, and just no luck. Well, I've got my issues with it too fast. I don't know if you've watched any of the content recently, but I've talked about my uh, problems with it many times. The thing is, like, a lot of the stuff that I have, like, things that I'd like them to change, most of it could be done pretty easily, I think. Like, there's two things in particular that could already make this game a million times better. Make it so that different fish within the same species have different wants for lures. That way they don't always just bite the same thing. Like, one fish in, one, in a species should be different from another fish in a species. In terms of what lures they want, what... Uh, Retrievals they prefer. And then also with just... The, uh... The amount of small fish that, like, strike on super heavy, thick line. I wish they would make it so, like... A bluegill isn't gonna bite if I'm using, like, 15-pound mono, you know? I think, honestly, they just tweak a couple things. This game could be incredible. And they're very open to tweaking stuff, so... I honestly feel like within a couple months, the game will be already... a ton better than it is now. I think it's just a matter of uh, them getting things tweaked the way they need them. Because there's a lot of good. There's a lot of things that have been done right. 
And then there's just a few little things that kind of hold it back from reaching its uh, max potential. Let's try the liver. Haven't had much good luck on the minnows recently. I wonder where this giant catfish went. Like, we saw it and then it was gone. Maybe we'll just uh, flip it out here. Ooh, I didn't change the length of the line or the length of the leader. Yeah, I've been saying that from the beginning, Fast. I honestly think the Hunter Call of the Wild should have been an early access title. Because then it, at least people know that they should be expecting things to change over time. But AEW likes to push their games out to full release. And then just kind of fix them over time. We've seen it with uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. We've seen it with the Hunter Classic. We've seen it with... Generation Zero, Second Extinction, they've all been pushed out as full titles. Full release titles, no early access or anything. Hmm, maybe this isn't the way to go. Maybe this won't work. Okay, so guys. What lures would a catfish bite IRL. I don't fish for catfish personally. There's not really any good catfish fishing near me. I'm curious. What would you guys use for catfish IRL if you were to use a lure? Because they will bite lures, I know that. But what lure would you say would be most likely to get a reaction? I've seen crankbaits do well. But I also feel like maybe a swim bait would be able to get a reaction. Or maybe dragging a spoon on the bottom. It looks like a lot of you are saying crankbaits. Maybe we'll try the size 2 crankbait. Spinner baits or spinners, crankbait. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of crankbait, so I guess we'll do crankbait. I want to get this thing, it looked huge. Oh, there's a bass right there. Oh, and also, something that I've noticed about the game. While there's a lot of species that are pretty easy to catch, as we've seen, the lake trout and the catfish are so difficult compared to everything else. Like, I've caught, like, maybe three catfish, and I've spent a few hours trying to get them. And then with the, uh... With the, um, lake trout... I've caught maybe 10 of them during like five hours of trying to fish for them. Like both of those seem relatively difficult to catch and I think right now they're probably the two most realistic fish to go for. You know, that's a good point, Osgard, and that does deter a lot of people from buying. I guess I can, I can totally see, like, why EW always goes straight to full release, but I just don't agree with it. Hey, Lobozo, how's it going, dude? Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. What's up? We're just going for a catfish at the moment. We saw a big catfish uh, surface over here. And then went back down to the depths, never to be seen again. And we're trying to figure out where it is. Because it looked huge. Looked like an absolute tank of a catfish. Is this game fun? I've been enjoying it quite a bit. It's not like super ultra realistic, but... It's still enjoyable to play. And at the end of the day, that's the number one factor for me, is whether or not it's fun. Nothing so far on the crank. Let me try one more thing. This might be what we need to do here. It 
slightly lighter. Then maybe cast out this way. I don't, uh, Zandri. Use a deep diving crankbait. That is basically what I'm using. This is the equivalent. Oh, definitely fast, but like the, the point that Osgard made is also good. Like, if they put it into early access, there's a good chance there'd be way, way less people that would buy it because they see the early access tag on it. And like you were saying, there's a lot of bad reputation around putting games in early access because of the amount of uh, developers that just abandon the games. Hunting Sim 2. <clears throat> Though they didn't go into early access, but still, it's that type of, uh, that type of behavior that makes people not like early access games. Well, I think the thing about it, Steve, is that uh, they marketed it as a realistic fishing game when it's really not. And I think that's the main reason for a lot of the backflash, or the backlash. It's not a matter of like, the game not being received well. It's a matter of them trying to pitch it to the wrong audience. They tried to pitch the game to the realistic fishing audience and in reality, this is more in line with the Hunter Call of the Wild in terms of realism. Like, it's way more arcadey than it is realistic. And I think that's where they went wrong right there. If you're looking for an arcadey experience, it's a fun, good, it's a really fun, really good game. But if you're looking for a realistic fishing game, it's not going to be fun to you, you know? Like, I think that's really what it comes down to for the most part. Ah oh man, what could we get? What could we get these guys to bite? Maybe the spoon? Alright, later, Andrew. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, exactly, Steve. Like, I feel like that was the big mistake is that they marketed it as a realistic experience and it's definitely more on the arcade side though one thing that i will say that i really do give them credit for is they have been so good at listening to the feedback obviously i, I can't say specifics but they're listening just know that they're listening to the feedback and they are really wanting to make the game what they marketed it at, marketed it as. Hey, Joshua, how's it going, man? Hope you've been doing good. I just saw a fish. I just saw a pretty decent sized fish. That might have been our catfish right there. Uh, let's get this back in quickly. Well, let me switch to another rod first so I don't get put back in the boat. Honestly, I like the, the system for setting up the rods. It's very quick. I think that's one of the things that they did very good. You can set up your rods super fast. Uh, not today, Heath. We did that yesterday. Or no, not yesterday, it was the day before, I think. How's the fishing going today? It's been a little bit slow. I mean, we've caught a few, but... I think we have had a slower day than normal, primarily because we're going for a big catfish that we spotted. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just not the type of comparison that can even be made, though, fast. You gotta think about this. The fishing fishing planet is, like, what, five, six, seven years old? This game just released. 
Fishing Planet was pretty bare, bo bare bones when it first came out, and in fact, a lot of people didn't even want to play it when it first came out because it wasn't what they expected. I think expectations need to be set a little bit differently for a fresh release versus a six or seven year old game. Like, it really isn't even comparable. You gotta remember, like, it's the same with people comparing Way of the Hunter to Call of the Wild. It's like, why would you make that comparison? First of all, Call of the Wild is like five years old. And second of all, it's a different kind of fishing game. It's kind of the same thing here. Oh yeah, it definitely was a uh, cannibal barbecue. I remember playing it when it first came out and like after playing maybe 50 or 60 hours, I got bored because there was really nothing left to do. Like you got to understand this game just came out and it's not even the same style of game. It's the same like I was saying with Way of the Hunter versus Call of the Wild. They're totally different games and there's like five years of development difference between them. Oh yeah, it was crazy, Kyla. And I really do think a lot of that was the marketing. I feel like they should not have marketed it as a realistic fishing game or like the most realistic fishing game ever if it wasn't going to be that. But yeah, the big thing I feel is just the unrealistic expectations of a brand new game that's going to be developed over the years versus a game that's been out for seven years. Yeah, but that's the thing, Fast. That's where it comes down to the difference in the style of game. Like, Fishing Planet was going for a super realistic representation. As we can see here, they're clearly not doing that here in the Angler. I think it's just a matter of uh, looking at it in the perspective of what the type of game is trying to achieve and... I feel like Fishing Planet was just trying to achieve something else on launch. I mean, you can tell just by the, the UI in this game that it's a little more arcadey. The UI itself has that arcade feel, you know? It's got that... Honestly, it's a typical EW uh, look for the UI. It's the same thing with like Call of the Wild and Generation Zero. That's just kind of the style for Expansive Worlds games. Oh yeah, that's not the argument we're making though, Jake. The argument we're talking about is the fact that when Fishing Planet first released seven years ago, it was just as bare bones. And so I feel like it's unfair to compare a seven-year-old game to a game that's not even out yet. Also, I think it's clear this catfish doesn't want to bite. I don't know what to do. This catfish just does not want to bite. Yeah, fast. And I mean, maybe if you're on the fence about it, wait a couple months. I got a feeling that within the first couple months, they'll change a lot of the stuff that people don't like. I mean, the developers, and I, I'm being completely honest with you guys when I say this, I've talked to a few different development teams throughout my time on YouTube. I've talked to like Call of the Wild, or the Hunter Call of the Wild. I've talked to like uh, Way of the Hunters team, um, Ultimate Fishing's team. And now the anglers team, the anglers team are the most dedicated and like open to change of any dev team I've ever seen. If anybody's going to mold a game from what it is now to what people want to see, it's going to be them. They are so, so open to making changes based on player feedback. The most I've ever seen in a development team, which is really nice to see because nowadays we're used to development teams not really listening. 
There's been so many games where people just get ignored whenever they request stuff. Like <laughs> Madden. <laughs> Madden's the most prime example of it, I feel. The game, I swear the Madden games just get worse every year. They never improve. Hmm, where is... Let's try the swim bait, I guess. That would be interesting, Rick. That would definitely be interesting. You know, there actually is a mushroom hunting simulator. There actually is a mushroom hunting game. Never played it, but it looks interesting. Oh yeah, and all that's in the works, I imagine, fast. Like, they take everything that's been said into account. Like, obviously, the developers have, like, a... They've got a vision for the game that they want to achieve, right? But they also want to achieve what the community wants because, I mean, we're the ones that play the game. The community that plays the game is going to be the people that, you know, keep the, the game popular enough to where they can continue developing. So, obviously, they're going to want to cater towards the needs of the, the large majority of the community. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Nothing crazy today. We're just trying to get a big catfish to bite, and it's just completely ignoring our uh, tackle. That was definitely not him, but that was a fish. Twenty-four hour stream mushroom hunting. My gosh, that'd be that'd be something else. I'm convinced that we're just not gonna catch this fish. Um, I think we will go somewhere else. Question is where? I mean, maybe we could go try for some lake trout again. Yeah, true, Rick. Like, a lot of people, some people want an easy experience, others want a challenge. Some want realism, some want arcade. Which is why you see, like, a... Uh, quite a split between, like, the Hunter Classic and the Hunter Call of the Wild in the community. There's people that want the realistic experience, and there's people that don't. Uh, let's do a game restart real quick to reset the time. Oh, don't want Apex Connect. Get out of here. There we go. You know, I've actually been given some information about the lake trout from one of the other content creators, and jigs are apparently not the best way to go. There is apparently another method that works much better. And so we're going to be trying that today. The hunter call of the shrooms. <laughs> Something like that. Mushrooms of the wild. Uh, no, Vinok, this is a angler stream today. Since, uh, the angler goes out of early access tomorrow, um, we're gonna spend the remaining time doing some angler content. However, I do have a Way of the Hunter video coming out today, so... I hope you guys are excited for that. It's gonna be a big one, 24 minutes of Way of the Hunter for today's video. Couple nice five stars included. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. And then I'm going to probably start working on a uh, The Hunter Call of the Wild video tomorrow. As well as another angler video. Let's get that boat right there. Oh, I agree, Smash. I agree. And I think if they did that, um, you know, do it similar to Way of the Hunter where they have an indicator of what difficulty you're playing on in the trophy screen. That way you can still compare your catches to each other without it being like, oh, I bet you caught that on easy mode. And there would still be a way to like show which mode you caught it on. 
I wonder how deep we got to go for the lake trout. I feel like maybe we can get them somewhat close to shore. Uh, no, there's no such thing as a troll in Way of the Hunter. Whatever rating it shows on the screen is what rating it's going to be. But anyway, we're going to be uh, using spoons for the lake trout today. Um, Not sure if you guys have heard of him before, but Papa Grizzly is a content creator. I believe he streams on Twitch. And he said to use the spoons. Use one of the larger spoons, let it sink all the way to the bottom, and then slow retrieve on the lowest speed. So we're going to test that out today and see if we get some lake trout. Uh, yeah, Kyla, he has. He did get all of them. I'm curious if he, if he did it just catching them randomly or if he did the missions. Because I think you can catch every single diamond via missions. If I'm not mistaken. I think he was just fishing for them though. I don't think he was doing any of the missions. I might be wrong though. Yeah, I've heard of that smash. Uh, yeah, I think so fast. One of the biggest, um, the biggest talking points I've seen from the community is the camera. And they're, they're well aware of that. Like, I'm sure they're going to be tweaking that. I, I couldn't see them not tweaking it, to be honest. I feel like that right there is going to be a top priority for them. Hmm. I just got to thinking, maybe stop and go would be a good option here. Because like you were saying, Smash, you know, letting it flutter down, stop and go might be a good option here. Because this reel reels in a little bit quicker than some of the other ones I use. Messed up my rhythm there. You know, something I would really like to see is the ability to move the HUD location. Like, if I could just move the thing that says stop and go to, like, the middle bottom of my screen or, like, the top middle, that would make it much easier to watch my rod as I'm doing the technique. And then I'd also like to see the, the thing below the stop and go, like, text. Not the actual, like, bar, but the different retrievals below it. I'd like to see that be able to be hidden. Well, nothing on that cast. There's a rainbow trout right there. Oh gosh, Kyla. No. Ugh. no, I can't do vinegar. That stuff is disgusting. I think another way to look at it as well though fast is like to them they might have thought that everything was good and then just misjudged what the players wanted and in a lot of cases that is what it is just a misjudgment of what people want and then changing it based on the feedback they get
Really hoping we can get a couple Lakers off of this. Yeah, it definitely does not sound good at all. I'll tell you one thing that's pretty interesting, like the, the, str what's the, what's the word? The stark contrast between, uh, lake trout, catfish, and then the other species in the game. Most of the species seem pretty easy, and then you go for, like, lake trout or catfish, and you go, like, an hour with nothing? Uh, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm wondering, am I just in the wrong location? I know lake trout can be here. What am I doing wrong? From my experience, Andrew, I don't think the technique you use with the lure really matters. From what I've seen, you just get the lure they like and you're good to go. Uh, today's video is going to be Way of the Hunter. Yeah, guys, I know that Flinter was uh, using jigging, but uh, Papa Grizzly was saying to use the uh, the spoons with a constant reel across the bottom. And apparently he was getting really good luck with that, so I wanted to try it out. And I tried the jigging, didn't have any luck. Using the uh, the same lure and everything that Flinter was, just no luck with it for me. Uh, the only thing I've caught lake trout on are swim baits. Fish need zones. <laughs> I mean, it'd be interesting. Gosh, how deep is this? Huh. Still going. Oh yeah, I've seen a couple of those smash. I think, I know for a fact that Hollywood's herd has one of those zones. Still sinking. Where we're still going. Okay, so one animation that I think is really good, and you guys might be seeing it right now. Look at the line coming out of the reel and going down the rod as I'm letting it sink. Like, that's actually very good. That's one of the probably the better animations we've seen. Did we hit bottom? Yeah, this lake is so deep. It's at 57 meters right now. I mean, if we're going to do jigging, this might be the opportunity to do it. Oh, we're at the end of our line. Oh, my. Just, just constant rail straight up, maybe? That's a little more difficult to do than you would think, uh, KMF. Unfortunately, any type of, like, water versus, like, boat physics reactions type things, that's difficult to do in pretty much any game. At least to make it look good. Because a lot of times you'll get issues where the water clips through the boat. And considering we've already got water clipping through the boat issues, I, I don't even want to know what it would be like if they tried to make the boat rock with the, uh, rough water. This might be the deepest lake in the entire map. I didn't even hit the bottom.
See, my big issue with the jigging is I can never get it to stay on jigging because it's hard to keep your mouse perfectly straight as you're moving up and down. And so, like... Maybe this is the way we do it? We just gotta wait for the bar to hit the very end? Nope, back to twitching, of course. I, I don't know how they could make that maybe better. I wish that I could use right click to lift my rod up. I think that's one of my most wanted features, I think, is being able to use right click in order to lift the rod instead of having to move my mouse up. L let me try something. I think I might have an idea that might work. Let's try accessible cast. This is basically where you only have to left click to cast. You don't have to like move the mouse. No, but I still got to do that. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we'll just do twitching. <laughs> twitching with a spoon. That is right under our boat. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if it gives us anything. Splinter didn't reel at all. Interesting. I mean, that's what we were just doing. I thought. Were we? I don't know. What does boat assist setting do? It makes it so that uh, it'll slow down when you get next to the shore. So you don't crash on land. I have that off because I don't like it slowing down my boat if I'm driving next to something. Yeah, like, I can never get it to stay on jigging. It's just hard to keep the mouse 100% straight when you're moving it. I'm not a fan of the way jigging is done. It's not very, uh, user-friendly. Yeah, definitely, Kyla. The lake trout are just ignoring us today. Part of me wonders if maybe I should try fishing for lake trout in one of the small uh, ponds that have them. I know one of these does. Yeah, this one says it has lake trout. That might be the move, honestly. I doubt we'll catch any monsters there, but if I can just catch one lake trout, I'll be happy at this point. Like, this is getting ridiculous. Alright guys, buckle up your seatbelts, we're about to go uh, off-road. Yeah, the lake trout are very difficult. Which is why I was saying like there is such a like stark contrast between some of the species in this game. Like, uh, the catfish and the lake trout are so difficult. And even the, um... Well, actually, there's really like three different levels of difficulty, it seems, for fish. Lake trout and catfish are the hardest to catch easily. Um, stuff like kokanee and sauger and bluegill are all kind of in the middle. And then you've got species like pike, bass, um, rainbow trout, golden trout, whitefish, stuff like that that's pretty easy to catch. Uh, definitely, Kyla. Definitely. Am I even wearing a seatbelt, I wonder? I don't know. I don't know.
Oh gosh. I don't know, little bear. I don't know. It might just be the the techniques that I've used. Maybe I'm not using the right tackle for the bluegill, but I think it's more of just they're harder to find. They're not in as many locations as the pike are. They should let you use the bluegill as bait. That'd be amazing. Yes, Smash, please. Let us buckle our seatbelt. Please. So this lake apparently has lake trout. Or this pond apparently has lake trout. Curious uh, just where. Like what side we're going to have to cast off of to... Stop trekking. Curious where we're going to need to cast off of. Oh yeah, they definitely do, Kyla. You can move pretty quickly. I got a feeling this will be a much easier... Okay, I forgot I changed the casting technique. Uh, let's go back to the other one. I like the, the other one better. There. <laughs> let's let... Ex you know, maybe this is where uh, Papa Grizzly was catching them. I never thought of that. This might have been the area that he was talking about. Using the uh, slow dragging across the bottom technique. This might actually be the location. This definitely seems like it fits that style more. Can I cast on the mountain? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, we're already hooked into one! There we go! Well, is this really all we needed to do? Just go to a different location? Yeah, this guy's pulling out some line. This is definitely a lake trout. Already! That's really all we needed to do is just change locations. Holy! That was a quick strike, too. That thing was aggressive. Crank the drag up a little bit. Jeez. Yeah, this guy's... This guy's got some fight in him. This is a pretty heavy setup. I'm going to guess this guy's probably like 15 to 20 pounds. He's definitely putting a lot of strain on the rod though. There we go. Lake trout. 17 pound lake trout. So, size 2 spoon? Working pretty good already. I do think the lake trout and the sauger are probably the two best fish models in the game. Maybe the pike as well. Like, those three are probably the best. When it comes to, like, looking like their real life counterparts. Let's see if we can consistently hook lake trout here. Was that a big lake trout that just jumped? Or was that a bass? Is there a bass here? Okay, that actually might have been a big rainbow. I saw something massive jump. I know, right, Johnny? Oh yeah, Kyla. I think they need a little more variety for like the, the faces of the character. Oh, there we go, another. Another one already. If it's a lake trout, it's hard to say if it is. This one's not fighting as hard. This could be a rainbow even. I mean, I would love for them to be able to do it, Carrie, but I don't think they can. The thing about adding crossplay is it's difficult to do it if the game wasn't built with it. 
And so since the Hunter Call of the Wild was not created with crossplay, adding it would be a very tall task and be very expensive. So I doubt we'll ever get crossplay in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Come on. What is it? Oh, it is a lake trout. It's a 16 pounder that time. That guy didn't fight nearly as hard and he's only one pound lighter. Man, I'm just happy we found a way to actually catch them. We finally found the place to go to catch lake trout. My gosh, Johnny. <laughs> Come on, give us the big mail. Ooh. There we go. Another one on. We did it. We we found the hot spot for lake trout. <laughs> Finally. Oh, it feels good to find a place where we can consistently catch them. You know, maybe that's how it's going to be for the catfish as well. Maybe we just need to find a spot where there's a lot of them. Oh, they 100% will add more maps, Carson. They have not talked about whether or not they will cost, though. Yeah, this is definitely the honey hole. We found an amazing spot for lake trout, finally. I haven't seen any giants so far, it's just been silvers, but at least we're finding them. This guy's probably the smallest one. Not fighting much at all. Yeah. Smallest of the three. Another silver. That's awesome to hear, Brent. That is awesome to hear. Glad it's been working out for you. Let's try only letting it sink a little bit. I want to see if that changes the effectiveness. Like, do we have to drag it across the bottom? Or can we start reeling sooner and get... Um, get them to bite as well. Oh yeah, definitely, Osgard, definitely. Uh, what's the best money fish? Oh, so you don't actually earn money from catching the fish. You earn money from leveling up, and for each, like, increment, there's like three different increments throughout your level where you'll earn some coins. The amount you earn is based off of how high your level is, so... The more you level your character, the more you'll get for reaching the like 33 and 66% marks in the in those levels. And then a larger amount of coins when you progress to the next level. So it's all based on leveling up. Not the uh not the fish you catch. So I guess in reality, the fish that would give you the most uh money would be Whatever fish levels you up quickest, which I think is just diamonds in general. Diamonds give you a ton of XP. But from what I've seen, I feel like I've leveled up the quickest off of rainbow and lake trout. I know early on rainbow trout are some of the best ways to level up. Wow, we're not getting a bite now. Okay, so that's interesting. We do need to go to the bottom. I kind of like that. You know, lake trout are typically pretty deep. <laughs> yeah, spicy. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, Johnny. That would be pretty awesome. Um, they haven't actually added the brown bear from what I know, Smash, but they added the uh, need zones for them. In preparation for adding the brown bear.
Uh, no, JLT, it's not. I don't know if they plan to make it. They, they might at some point, but right now it's not cross-platform. Little fish just jumped in front of us. We might need to move as well. Maybe we've caught all the lake trout that were in this little spot. Oh, definitely, Kyla. Definitely. I cannot wait till they add them in. Nobody knows what the diamond requirements are for any fish. They, they don't display what the diamond requirement is. It's going to be up to the community to kind of like figure out what the minimum is for diamond. Yeah, I think we just fish this area out. Let's uh, move over a little bit and see if we can hook into a lake trout over there. On the opposite side of this little pond. I mean, to be fair, uh, Valorant, with bass, a lot of times you just crank them in as fast as you can. And you're actually not required to pump. I, I just do that. You're not required to, though. You can reel the fish in without doing it. But with, like, salmon, of course you're going to pump. That's, like, that's pretty typical. Even with, like, a big trout on ultralight tackle, you would. Hey, Waylon, how's it going, dude? Uh, today's video is gonna be Way of the Hunter. Yeah, that'd be cool, Johnny. That would be cool. It's also a different kind of game, Fast. They don't have the massive open world that's here and they have like ultimate fishing one to kind of like move models over from which i imagine is probably what they did they probably moved a bunch of the fish models over and just touched them up to be a little bit nicer looking but i think the big uh, the big difference there is that um ultimate fishing simulator 2 the maps aren't very big and so, with this map being about half the size of a Call of the Wild, or of the Hunter Call of the Wild map, I'm assuming that a lot of work went into that as well. Probably took them a lot longer to design the world. And then there's also an entire, like, tons of different missions and stuff like that. Collectibles, different things to collect around the map, points of interest. Like, there's a lot more different things that went into the game that probably accounts for the lower amount of species on launch. Thank you, Waylon. I'm glad you enjoy them, dude. And no, cutting the line just makes it so that you don't have to reel it in, basically. Like, certain fishing games have the ability to just instantly pull the line in. This is basically their version of being able to just instantly pull the line in. So we had those three lake, to, lake trout back to back to back, and now we've got a very big dead streak. Uh, no, Smash. In this game, once you've purchased a lure, 
you can lose as many of them without having to purchase it again. And I think part of that has to do with, uh, probably the system they've gone with for earning coins. Since you don't earn coins from catching fish, and you just earn them from leveling up, I imagine that that's why they did it, because eventually, you know, you're gonna get to a point where level ups are few and far between as you get more XP. Maybe they, maybe they thought that you would end up just running into situations where you'd lose lures and just run out of lures, but it's hard to say. I'm not sure exactly why they did it that way. Be curious if they, uh, be curious to see what it, the reasoning is. Yeah, it seems like there's not much going on now. Uh, maybe if we loop around. Try casting from, like, opposite of the dock. Let's see how this works. I was for sure seeing one more lake trout moving around. Caught all the fish already? Probably. I guess to be fair, it is a pretty small, uh... It is a pretty small pond. I wouldn't have expected a ton of lake trout to be here. Uh, no snags as of now. Hey, CJO, how's it going, dude? How you doing? I know, right, Johnny? Like, the the ability to maneuver around the terrain in this game is so much better than Call of the Wilds or Way of the Hunters. Like, look at this. I can actually climb up these. It just kind of, like, slow... Oh, well, there we go. It, it slows you down, but you can climb up them. Look at this. Almost. Gotta find the right spot. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. I mean, at this point, this could be Rock Climbing Simulator. Hey, we can see everything now. Couple fish there. Probably not going to let me do this. Yep. Cast too high above water. <laughs> Cast missed water. It literally is, Duxton. It literally is. Could probably get up here just from here. And honestly, I'm okay with it because uh, I was always so I always got so irritated with Call of the Wild or the Hunter Call of the Wilds uh, climbing mechanics that I'd rather this than falling down the tiniest slope in existence. Uh, Way of the Hunter is not coming out on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, uh, Ryan. If that's what you're referring to, they are not releasing on those platforms. Yeah, too high above water, so we can't cast there, unfortunately, but, eh, cool to do it, at least. Oh, yeah, the Hunter Call of the Wild would definitely make it impossible to climb that. It's not the same, though, Harley. Like, Call of the Wilds, or the Hunter Call of the Wilds, uh, climbing mechanics. Even if you're jumping, you cannot get up certain slopes. And some of them look like they should be climbable.
Uh, there is no fall damage in the game. It just respawns you if you fall too far. What's the deepest lake in the map? To be honest, I don't know the depth of it because we weren't able to hit the bottom with the line on our reel. But uh, there's one lake that's at least 50 meters deep. Which is pretty deep. Like that's pretty insanely deep. Yeah, I think we already cranked all of the lake trout out of here. Let's uh, go to a spinner then and see if we can catch the rainbows. There should be some rainbows and I believe whitefish it said. Yeah, whitefish, golden trout, lake trout, rainbow trout. This is a cool little pond, honestly. Lots of good species. Thank you, Waylon. I appreciate that, dude. Nothing too insane, Connor. We did catch a few uh, nice lake trout out of this uh, pond here. Other than that, though, nothing crazy. In fact, I don't think we've even caught a gold today. I think everything's been a silver. Silver and bronze. There we go. Don't trust Ben. Well, that's just rude. Oh, and this is one of the uh, longest fishing rods in the game. I think it's like nine feet. Nine or ten feet long. I... we don't know, Walleye. We don't know when it's going to come out on consoles. As of now, uh, the 31st is the PC release date. They have not talked about the consoles or even what consoles it's going to be on, so... It's hard to say. They don't have a release date as of now. Definitely notice that with this reel, it takes much longer to reel them in. Nice, we got a gold rainbow. Is that our first gold of the day? I think it is. I think that's our first gold of the day. 12.39 pound rainbow trout. Nice. Let's reel it in quite a bit first. Yeah, this reel reels in relatively slow, I've noticed. We can probably do a two speed and still, still have the fish be able to catch up to it. Uh, yeah, I play Way of the Hunter. We've actually got a video coming out for Way of the Hunter later today. Oh yeah, I noticed that too, Osgard. I was kind of confused by it at first. I was like, wait a second, I set it to Imperial. Why is it still showing meters on the, like, depth meter and, like, the cast distance and things like that? It is a little strange that it, it keeps it like that. I would imagine that that one's going to take a little bit to fix fast because they would have to design um, animations for either netting the fish or picking them up. And so, if I'm being honest, I feel like that might have just been a temporary thing until they have those types of animations ready. There we go. Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big rainbow. Uh, 
Um, I think the audio's bugged. Yeah, the audio's definitely bugged. It sounds like it's to my right. This is a big fish, though. This little dude's actually pulling out some line. Yeah, it could be a diamond. Or a very big gold. Probably a big gold, to be honest. Yeah, big- wow, that was close to diamond, though. That was pretty close to diamond. So, based off of some of the fish that I caught and some of the ones that Flinter caught, we've been able to figure out that Diamond is like somewhere between 1735 and 1790. Somewhere between that range is diamond. So this guy was probably like a pound off of diamond. A little bit under a pound off a of diamond, most likely. Seen a diamond 17.5 or so? Okay, so yeah, it's probably around there. Because I had a 1735 that was gold. And I think Flinter had like a 1785 diamond, so yeah. If you've seen a 17.5, I bet either 17.40 or 17.50 is diamond. Probably 17.50. That's still a nice trout though, that's a good one. Nice 17 pound rainbow trout. And we leveled up, beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna spend all the coins on. I have quite a bit of coins now. Now we did see a pretty big trout surface over here. Let's see if maybe we can get something to bite on this side of the lake. Hey Thunder, how you doing dude? We've just been uh, catching some trout over here. We caught a few lake trout and then we also ended up catching a uh, pretty big rainbow right there. Uh, yeah, Nikki does. Oh, it is little bear. That's wild. There we go. Another one. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Another fish on, but is it a good one? You know. Oh, that is tiny. Wow. So honestly, I think I'm gonna stop using this fishing rod. I feel like the fact that it's like the longest rod in the game is causing the action to look weird. Like there's barely any bend. And a lot of times it goes completely slack and the only thing I can think of is maybe the length is messing things up. Definitely feels like it at least. Oh, a little golden trout. Nice. Nice little golden trout. Yeah, let's honestly go with this setup. This might be a little more fun to use right now. Let's swap out that spinner. Go to the other setup. Put that size 5 spinner on there. See if we can get something over here. Oh yeah, that was like way before I actually started doing YouTube seriously though, little bear. Oh, there we go. That was quite a while ago. You see, like, I feel like this rod right here has too much bend. But then that green rod had not enough bend. Although I guess I should look at the uh, the action of the rod. The action, the weight, like all that stuff. Let's see, what do we got here? So that one's a medium power extra fast action. 
This one is a heavy X. Okay, so it's a heavy. I guess that would make sense that there's less bend. I mean, it's already a rod that's meant for larger fish. And I mean, I guess a heavy rod that's 3.28 yards, which would be like, what, 10 feet? Just barely over 10 feet? I could, or just, maybe just under 10 feet. It might be like a 9, like a 9.10. Might be a 9.10. But, uh, regardless, I can see, I guess I can see how this wouldn't have as much bend in it. This one, though, that's a lot of bend for a medium. Not gonna lie, like, that's a lot for a medium. Given it's only a, th wait, it's a three foot rod. So that's a three foot medium rod. That honestly, that doesn't seem right. That's like an ice fishing rod, basically. <laughs> or like a, like rock fishing for rockfish. Yeah, but if that was the case, Connor, how is this one an extra fast medium, but it bends like a million times more than this guy? I think there's a little bit of a balancing pass that might need to be made on some of these uh, fishing rods. I never realized how short this rod was until we just looked at it. This is like a three foot rod. What is this one? Okay, so that's a little bit more normal. That's like a six foot rod. Like 5'11". I'd use this one, but it's a little bit light for some of these big rainbows. Yes, we're just gonna have to continue with this one. Actually, to be honest, I should probably end the stream. That way, uh, you guys can watch the Way of the Hunter video that's gonna go live in 20 minutes. But I appreciate all of you uh, dropping by. I'm glad we finally found a good place to fish for lake trout. Now, the question is, can you... Oh, that was a nice fish. But the question is, like, can we just restart the game and then jump back in here and have lake trout again? It's hard to say. I might have to test that out, but... We're going to go ahead and end it since the video goes live in 20 minutes. Appreciate all of you dropping by. This was a fun stream. Got uh, quite a bit of fish towards the end here, though it took us a while to find a good location. But honestly, that's part of the fun of the game for me is uh, traveling the map and finding new places to fish. This was definitely a little hidden gem. I did not expect this pond to be that good. But I will uh, see you guys in two days with another live stream. Uh, there'll be a video tomorrow, obviously, but... Two days until the next stream, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!